Welcome to Custom Keyboard Creations, episode number one. This is the online series dedicated to showcasing the highest end and most unique custom keyboards that the community has to offer. Today we've got five contestants pinning their boards against each other, however, there can only be one winner. And we're gonna need your help in the audience to decide who's gonna win because that person is gonna get a cool quick 20 beans. My name's Tony from Custom Keyboard Creations and I appreciate everybody for coming on by and participating in the show and I hope you guys enjoy it. So for the very first episode of Custom Keyboard Creations, the five applicants that we have here to feature today, we've got Charlotte, Max, Jasper, Sweet Serendipity, DIY, and Awkward Sea Whale. Some pretty fierce competition, so let's jump right into the first board. Kicking off today's episode, we've got Charlotte with her retro modded Apple standard keyboard. She's got the M0116 variant. There's never really been a clicky keyboard made by Apple, that is until Charlotte thought it was time. And I believe that she was right. This clean and historical keyboard is sitting in its stock M0116 beige case that doesn't seem to have aged at all. She's also taking advantage of the gorgeous dye sublimated PBT keycaps. This is actually the last Macintosh keyboard to have the backwards L shaped return key, and it's the only board to have a control key to the left of the A key. Charlotte had to modify the original Apple ADB coiled cable with the hand soldered Teensy converter to make the ADB to USB transition. Charlotte lubed the Alp stabilizers with 3 bond silicone grease and made some further modifications to the switches themselves. The original switches in the board were stock Alps SKCM salmons, but Charlotte swapped out the original tactile leaves with some clicky Alps.TW type OA2 clones. She even included a picture of these leaves and a switched hair down so we have an idea of how that process took place. At this point I bet you're all roaring to hear this baby purr, so thanks Charlotte for coming on to the show. Here's the test. Next up in the queue, we've got Jasper. He's a young 16 year old gentleman from the Netherlands. Like many of us, he was inspired by our community to save up to build his first budget mechanical keyboard. Jasper is rocking a sweet custom 60% layout featuring KBD fans frosted acrylic CNC case. Having a low pro case myself, I really enjoy the way this board sits. This case is really great for those boards ripping LED underglow effects, as you can see here. The board is powered by the DZ60 RGB PCB and he's using the USB Type-C connector with it. Soon, we gotta get you a nice coiled cable to go along with it. So he got those blue and white PCB PBT keycaps for the low on Amazon. They do complement the case nicely and they don't hurt the wallet. These are always nice because you can just snag a couple of these sets and you always have some open options. For switches, he is using some lubed Gatoron yellows which have a linear 50 gram actuation force. They generally have a better smoothness to the key press than the black or red Gatorons. His extended keys are supported by some lubed clip-in cherry stabilizers. Unfortunately, we didn't get a sound test from Jasper, but if you'd like him to submit one, tell him so in the comments, and thank you anyway for coming on the show, Jasper. At spot number three, we have Sweet Serendipity DIY, who actually has a video about the building of her gorgeous 75% high-profile board. Definitely stop by her YouTube channel and check out her inspiring video about this. So this keyboard is made from the gray Edobao 75% case with a backplate milled from aluminum. This utilizes the ID80 hot swappable PCB complete with some really nice underglow LEDs. She actually made this insane custom acrylic diffuser that allows those beautiful LEDs to shine bright through the bottom. Seriously, check out her video. The cap serendipity used here are the Max Key SA green and white double shot ABS keycaps. 
Personally, I love this set because they're nice and tall and they provide that seriously high profile. Plus, my favorite color is green. Bonus points for you. For the switches, she's keeping it quiet with Kale's box tactile silent browns that have 45 grams of actuation force and they're properly lubed with Crytox 205G0. They're very quiet but still sound sharp. She also installed some high quality GMK screw and stabilizers instead of the standard snap-ins that the board actually came with. Check out this awesome custom cable that matches her board. Now I couldn't find any details about this but I'm sure everybody would love it if you drop that detail down in the comments below if you know what I'm saying. Now real quick before we go, check out this amazing matching numpad that she has. Let's all thank Serendipity for coming on the show while we listen to her awesome sound test. Next up is Max from Michigan. He's also a young guy at 15 years old who has a sweet custom keyboard. He's a musician and a Twitch streamer, so check out his gaming channel down below. His keyboard was inspired by the legendary Teha Types himself, and it's sitting inside a black KBD75 revision number no. 2 aluminum case. This is the version with the frosted acrylic diffuser that creates that ridiculous LED effect. Super cool. He's also got the brass backplate, which I'm sure adds to his great typing sound. The back of the case does have some cool engravings and it has room for that brass weight, which he can upgrade in the future if he wants to. The PCB inside this board is also from KBD Fans. It's the matching 75 Rev 2.0 that provides those LEDs that are built in. To complement his case's color scheme, he's rocking the YMDK OEM style carbon thick PBT keycaps featuring some grays, off-whites, and even orange colors. There's a couple variants of this set on Amazon for the low, and it's a great starter keycap set. For switches, he's got some high-quality kale creams with a linear 55 grams actuation force that fully bottom out at 70 grams. He did upgrade from the snap-in stabilizer, so he got some screw-in cherries instead. To reduce the rattle, he did band-aid mod and lube those stabs. In addition to the work he put in on the switches, check out this homemade wrist rest. It looks like he stained up some reclaimed wood, so props to you for that awesome piece. Max has a ton of upgrade potential, so I'm excited to see where he goes in the near future. Thanks for coming on to the show, Max. Now let's hear that baby clickety clack. Last, but definitely not least, we've got Awkward Sea Whale from Florida and their unique 60% layout. This build is primarily used for gaming and, quote unquote, schoolwork, and it matches nicely with the PC behind the scenes. This is a really great picture. This is the hot swappable GK64XS PCB with a USB Type-C connection. Sea Whale actually has that XS model which adds Bluetooth wireless capabilities to the board. This PCB also features pre-soldered LEDs for each switch, which makes for a really bright and shiny setup. It came with a white plastic case with an aluminum backplate. This is a great neutral starting point, and this case can easily be upgraded in the future, which he has plans to do. To maximize those RGBs, they've got the HyperX pudding keycaps with a couple random colored keycaps from the PBT YMDK sets on Amazon. Great idea. These pudding caps are really great for boards utilizing those gorgeous LED effects, and the off color scheme is on point too. 
Under the hood, there's some sweet Gatoron Brown tactile switches at 55 grams actuation force and some snap-in cherry style stabs. To spice this board up further, he put some work in by lubing and band-aid modding the stabs to reduce the extended key rattle. With all these mods and the popular Gatoron Browns, I can't wait to hear this baby roar. Thanks so much for coming on the show, Awkward Sea Whale. Hey, please make sure to check out the description and vote for your favorite keyboard down below because that person will be winning a cool 20 bucks here. And if you enjoyed today's episode and you wanted to get your custom build featured on the show, there's also a link down in the description outlining exactly how to do that. So anyway, guys, I am Tony from Custom Keyboard Creations. I had a blast making this video for you guys. These keyboards that were entered here tonight are fantastic, and I'm so excited to bring more of these keyboards to you. For now, I'm signing off. I'll catch you guys next time.